hey everyone welcome back in this video I'm going to create my web RTC client I'll create a Kotlin class called web RTC clients and it's going to be injectable so I'll mark it as inject and using constructor we will inject the context and also JSON I'll create my main function called initialize the RTC client and as the argument I'll get the username type string and the observer of type observer the peer connection observer so inside it I'll store my username and also my observer like this so this that username is equal to username and this that observer is also equal to observer so right after that I want to create my peer connection which is going to be null initial but to create my peer connection first I do have to uh, init my peer connection factory and also create my peer connection factory so I'll create my private function init peer connection factory and it will require an application so we just have to call peer connection factory dot initialize but as option let me create my options here which is going to be peer connection factory initialize options and use the builder class and set some property to it enable internal tracer to true and set field trials to web rtc dash h264 high profile slash enable slash and then create initialize options and pass it here but first thing inside this class is to init this peer connection factor so Let me switch this to context because it's requiring context okay so first thing we have to init our peer connection and then we have to create our peer connection factory so let me create the function create peer connection factory and it will return a peer connection factory so I'll return the peer connection factory that's builder class and set some property to it first video decoder factory and it wants a video decoder factory which I'll create a default video decoder factory and as the context let me create my context up here private val EGL base context it's going to be EGL base dot create and get EGL base context so I'll pass the EGL base context and set video encoder to default video encoder factory also and give the EGL base context true for enabling vp8 encoder and also true to enable high profile and also i'll set some option for it i'll use peer connection factory options create a new instance of it and apply some variables to it disable encryption to false and also disable network monitor and then create peer connection factory 
and right after here I want to create a peer connection factory object and using lazy delegation to create an object of it create peer connection factory and after that it's time to create a function to create peer connection finally and it will return a peer connection object so I'll return your connection factory object and create peer connection so here we are going to use uh, the i server and the observer so let me create my i server object here it's going to be private val i server it is a list of your connection i server and as a uri username and password i'll pass this so keep this in mind you have to use a tcp turn server because in some networks udp packets are blocked by cellular networks so you have to uh, use a turn server that supports tcp packets in case you want to use uh, your application using cellular network so let's pass this i server as the first variable to my peer connection and as the next one i'll just pass the observer to it which i'll receive here from my function and i do have to mark it as nullable so we are good to go but right here i want to initialize my peer connection using a create peer connection and pass this observer to it okay so after preparing our peer connection it's time to create a way to connect two peer to each other so to do that i'll create a function named call and it will get a target of type stream and using my peer connection I'll create an offer and for the STP observer I'll just create my own STP observer my STP observer I'll explain in a second it's going to be an open class STP observer since I'm not using all of these methods I just want to overwrite my on create success and on set success in some situations so I'll create an open class to extend this anonymously and also I'll create a peer connection observer my peer observer it also is going to be open class and it extends from peer connection observer I'll implement all of its methods and we are ready to use these two classes so right here as the observer I'll just pass an anonymous class of type my CP observer and for the constraints I'll create a global variable of it private val media constraints is equal to media constraints and apply and I'll add some mandatory to it media constraints key value pair and it's going to be offer to receive video and the value is going to be true and pass it inside here and right here I'll overwrite on create success method and rename this to description uh, let's go back to my peer connection observer and rename this to disk just like that and right here I want to check if this uh, offer is created successfully 
first I want to add it on my peer connection so using peer connection I'll use set local description now create an other anonymous object of my STP observer because I'm just using on set success method and as the STP desk so I'll create my offer first after generating a session description I want to add this on my peer connection first and send this to the other peer as their uh, remote description but to send this uh, using WebSocket, I'll have to create an interface. Uh, let's call it listener. It's going to have a function on transfer event to socket. And it's going to get a data model. Data, data model. So right here, after setting this session description to my peer connection, it's ready to send to other guy. So using this listener that I haven't created it here, I'll use it var listener of type listener. It's going to be null initially unless some other class set this listener for me so right here i'll check if it's not now i want to transfer some data to websocket so i'll create a data model the type of it is going to be data model type dot offer the username is going to be username that is being derived from uh, initialized function here and the target is going to be target coming from this string and the data is going to be description from this session description so after sending this to websocket the target will receive our offer I'll create the answer function as well it's going to be pretty much the same as the call so using peer connection I'll create an answer this time and as the observer I'll create an anonymous class of my STP observer and pass the media constraint to it so I'll overwrite the uncreate success and set this as the local description since we are the other guy that we are generating the answer it is still our local description so we want to set this local description and for the observer again we create an anonymous class my stp observer because we need the onset success so as the stp i'll just pass the description to it and after we successfully set this as our local description it's time to send this to the other guy so using listener on transfer data we will create a data model of type answer and the username is going to be username the target is target that is derived from my function and the data is going to be description of this session description okay this video is already too long we will continue on the next part